transformation coach, speaker and owner of Dreamage by Diksha with an experience of more than six years. As a result of her personal transformation coaching, people push back their limiting beliefs and develop more empowering beliefs which help them recognize their inner potential so that they can stop in the shadow of their old version and move in light with joy. We welcome you, Ms. Diksha. Please take over. Hi, Krisha. Thank you so much for this lovely introduction. Uh, I hope uh, I am visible now. Yes, Diksha, please carry on. All right. Okay. So first of all, thank you so much, Krisha, for introducing me. Uh, now, today's topic uh, for me is anxiety management. But before we go to management, let, let's first understand what is anxiety and how does it occur. So I'll give you one example to you know, have better understanding so that you can understand it in a better way. Let's just imagine that we have an overdue EMI after two days and we don't have money. We will pick up a thought like, oh my God, what should I do now? I don't have money. How will I arrange it? What if I will not be able to pay it on time? What if this? What if that? And so many thoughts, right? Then these thoughts will create a feeling, feeling of worry fear, we will be like, oh shit, what should we do now? We will try to suppress those feelings. How can I talk to someone? What if they will come to know that I am not able to pay this amount? Or how will I talk to my parents, my siblings, my uh, you know, husband or wife? We will keep on suppressing those feelings. And when we suppress those feelings, somehow our behavior will get changed. Obviously, when uh, I'm going through some uh, some worriness, some fear, my behavior will change. My body language will change. Hence, results will change. There might be aggression, fight uh, with, uh, with the other person. There is a chance, right? This entire process creates a different emotion, different hormone, uh, you know, pump different hormones, right? And that creates a stress. And that is anxiety which hinders our uh, you know mindset hinders our, our opportunities everything and we will feel like we have a headache we have stomach ache we are not able to talk low breathing and different things overthinking these are different signs of anxiety so what is anxiety it's a natural human reaction whenever something we will feel like oh what should we do now it's like uh, can, can we please go back to previous slide? Yes, so our mind is, you know, sensing some danger, some fear, some worriness. Then what it will do, it will send a message to our adrenal gland so that it starts, you know, pumping the stress hormones. The way I said, thoughts, feelings, then suppression of feelings, which will change our behavior and hence results. That entire thing, will create anxiety. So that's how it got created. And now the different signs for anxiety, as I said, are overthinking, uh, with, yeah, trouble in breathing, procrastination, laziness, avoidance of different things, less sleep, and low self-esteem. So these are the different signs of anxiety. Oh, if you are going through these uh, you know, different things, am I going through anxiety? Oh, yes, you may not feel it sometime, but yes, you are going through anxiety. And But the good thing is, yes, you can overcome it, you can manage it, and that too in different ways, easy ways, I must say. So we can uh, go to, yeah. All right. As I said, the process was, was first, we pick up a thought. The thought can be, uh, you know, any thought, but we can change that. It's like, you know, kill the monster while it's little. So we can change our thought if we know that we have an EMI, overdue EMI, and we don't have money. Instead of thinking of problems, well, possible you know, situations, worst situations, let's change our focus from problems to solution. What can be done? 
how can I arrange money and in what time I need to arrange it or okay fine if I'm not be able to arrange it till uh, day after tomorrow then when and how much uh, you know I have to pay more for this possible solution not possible problems so instead of focusing on problems let's now focus on solution so this is how we can change our thought all right next we can do is we can uh, you know change our feelings and how we rather than suppressing it ki sometimes it happens like oh my god let's keep this to ourselves right but these you know our self keeping things to ourselves will create suppression of feelings and now let's not suppress it let's express it with other person with some trusted people with one trusted friend with your parents with your mom dad your husband your wife with anyone this will give you relief once you speak up you will feel relaxed okay fine i have problem but i know i can handle it i am bit relieved so talk to someone who can you know understand your problem so this will help you in releasing your thoughts in expressing your thoughts so rather than suppressing it express it with some other person with trusted people now feelings uh, we are talking about feeling suppression and you know uh, expressing it with other people let's now talk to behavior thought feelings behavior let's go on a walk mindful walk not like a, okay fine we are walking and we are still thinking about loan amount not able to pay the loan on time what if this what if that so now give a pause to everything everything what is you know going on in your head and then focus on oh okay i am going on a walk let's just walk that's it okay if you are not going on a walk listen to uh, to your favorite song listen to uh, your you know watch favorite watch your favorite movie do something which will make you happy not just sitting on uh, one single place and thinking about the problem again and again again and again and again and again that will only give you more anxiety make you more anxious nothing else you will not be able to find any solution so if you want to find a solution change your behavior that's really really important now when your behavior is changed your result will automatically change you may not be able to pay installment on time but you will be able to handle the situation handle the problem maybe after one day you will be able to pay it two day you will be able to pay it but you know i will manage i'm going to handle this now what uh, you know sometimes happen is people know these little little things right okay mindful walk or all right uh, this is how i need to do it let's talk with someone but still they feel anxious they feel like nothing can be done i have problem and i have problem and this is how they start attracting more things more problems in their life now here what we can do is it's like you know our subconscious is trained to see only problems not the possible opportunities solutions so here what we can do is we can do affirmations affirmations are repetitive statements so it's like you know whenever we think of uh, any thought which, which can make us anxious let's just you know replace it with the different with a positive one with the positive statements like if i will think i am not able to pay the installment on time let us change it into a positive one i am able to pay my installments my emi on time so this is how if that's just one example if you uh, if you are if the reason of your anxiety is self doubt comparison or you know low self esteem anything right change your statement like i had uh, anxiety issues because of low self esteem and i started uh, you know my affirmation with first i thought that i'm not capable of doing great things i changed it with a different one with a new one positive one i can and i am able to do things differently in a very good way so it's up to you how you can change it 
so when you will you know keep on repeating it keep on repeating it you will settle it down in your subconscious mind and it's like whenever something happens whenever you are about to pick you know worrying fear anything you know deep down that yes i can handle this i'm capable of you know tackling this problem i can do this and trust me you will be able to handle that it's not about you know paying your installments on time it's about how you tackle with your problem because you you will not face you know all, all this issue all the time there might be different issues different problems but yes you know i can do this you will be able to do this it's like you know uh, one of my favorite quote from tony robbins when you think when you believe you can you actually can and when you think you believe no i can't trust me you can't so believe in yourself make your you know change your statements change your you know internal communication with the positive affirmations that will help you in you know training your subconscious mind hence your thought process as i said it all starts with your thought you picked up a thought you created different feelings of worry and uh, you know fear and that created a suppression of feelings when you suppress those feelings your behavior will change hence results i'm repeating it again and again because i know the root cause of it and i want you all uh, i want all of you to understand that because it's actually possible to kill the monster while it's little let's not you know create the everything like oh anxiety ho oh, gayi depression hai let's just kill it oh this is the thought i'm getting i know how to handle it that's what mentor mitra is doing right that's what we are speaking for so understand the process and you know get that uh, solutions how you can manage it and use it you all know very well as uh, ma'am before me said all these things right i said these things you may know it uh, you know before that but it's about implementation if you will not implement it right now right after this webinar in anything x y z anything you will not be able to improve yourself you will not be able to see your different version it's imperative to first understand things and then to implement without implementation you will stay at the same place today tomorrow and day after tomorrow so you need to grow in order to grow you need to implement things and now when you know all right i have changed my subconscious mind i am you know uh, adapting new things i am affirming still i am not able to get the results i want so first understand what are your goals if you have problem you know how to tackle it create some goals that will give you you know more passion that will make you more passionate when you have something in your mind nothing can come and sit inside it you can never welcome anxiety in your life never ever when you have something very very good sitting in your mind like if i'll give you an example uh suppose you have a goal of uh, opening your own uh, you know setup opening your own company small company and if you have a problem like financial issues how to do it i don't know i don't have any help how can i do it anxiety thoughts feelings suppression no one to talk what to do with this but with your goal when you have clarity okay this is what i need to do why i know what i need to do i have some problem all right i know how to manage it i can change my thought i can do uh, you know affirmations i can do mindful walk i can do change my behavior i can do things which will make me happy but when i have a goal if in case i still have that issues i know i have a clear picture of what i want to do i will always look for solution always and always i will not let any one any anxiety any depression come and sit in my mind no never i'll get up i'll, I'll go ahead and i'm going to look forward to the solution to make whatever i am thinking whatever my goal is to make it happen so leave that thing of anxiety 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 people had you know created this a big big word anxiety oh my god oh my god let's not talk about it let's not uh, let people know that i have anxiety issues 
it's okay. When you can talk about your physical health, you can for sure talk about your men mental health. If you're not comfortable in talking about your mental health with your friends, with your family, that means you're not comfortable. It's the time to change your circle. So change, have some people in your life with whom you can discuss things and it's okay to talk about your mental health. So leave that thing of anxiety, anxiety, anxiety. You have all the tools of how to manage anxiety, thought, feelings, behavior, and results. So change your thought, change your feelings, your uh, behavior, and your result will automatically change. All the tools for anxiety have a clear picture of what you actually want to achieve, the goals, have that clear picture and just go ahead with that picture in your mind. You will definitely gonna attract it. Thank you. Now I welcome if you have any.